Your objective is to find and kill assigned targets. Avoid being killed by other players. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Random Acts of Murder. Starting off the game quick right here as the sharpshooter rounds the corner. Grab a poison, feeling pretty good, gonna get myself like a nice 500 point kill to start off the game. And uh, poison's taken away, and it gets intercepted by that lovely independent over there. That's pretty annoying, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Start off the game with a couple quick ticks towards variety, and grab the huntsman. And the huntsman knows that I'm his pursuer. So he's just going to sit here and juke around, do some dino walking, and uh, guy manages to make it past me. Um, what are you going to do? But he, uh, he runs right over into the Hessian here, who stuns him. I don't know how, but good job on the Hessian's part. Now it's his turn to get stunned, and I can get a quick kill on the Huntsman. Pretty good. All right. Back on pace for a 10K, 900 points, one minute in. It's right about there. And I'm pretty sure this Night Stalker is my pursuer. Throw the smoke and waste the smoke. Lovely. Um, so sit around for a minute, wait for another target, get the carpenter. He rounds the corner. Go for an acro, but he goes up the stairs and end up settling for a basic. It's okay. It's good. Thousand points, about a minute in. Take a death. You do what you do. Um, Bieber got me. Didn't see him coming. Nothing I could have done anyway with no abilities. And uh, just the way it is. Going to spawn back, wait for my target for a second, and I see that it's the independent across the map. So, make my way over to the independent, and I know she's in that back corner hanging around the uh, the little weapon racks area, and gonna try and get, you know, a decent scoring kill on her. See her kill a civilian, um, an NPC, so I know I have a good chance to just not get contested here, and uh, end up getting a, a discreet on her. Um, you know, whatever. Anyway, see the robber around in the corner here coming straight for me. Throw the knife, get the stun. It's pretty good. Four of seven towards my streak. In first place, a bit behind schedule, about 500 points behind schedule for uh, a 10K. But get the carpenter, looking to grab another quick kill on him. And I see that he's doing a bit of running. He rounds the bend here, so I figure I have a good opportunity to get decent scoring kill on him and uh, just go in for the quick poison. Get stunned, which is okay. I don't really mind. Um, because of kill buffer, I only lose one point towards my streak, and, uh, you know, Hessian just charges in, um, you know, luckily doesn't kill my carpenter, and I notice my target is just coming straight for me, so I'm gonna hang out in the blend group, uh, work my way up to incognito, get a hidden on him all the meanwhile, notice one of my pursuers dies, grabs that hidden incognito real quick, get the greater variety, and now I'm really looking on par for a 10k, 3k, three minutes in, looking good, um, sitting around kind of waiting for my target, thinking to myself, you know, I could go for a stun right about now. So I grab the stun, and I'm pretty sure the Hessian's on me, but he's not. So I'm just going to work my way towards the sharpshooter, and, uh, you know, figured he was going to get me if I come straight up there. He gets me anyway, because he was, you know, trying to get a focus on his target, which... Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, that guy was a pursuer also, so... Kudos to this guy getting a double stun off of one smoke. Good job, sharpshooter. Props to you, buddy. Hats off to you. That's how smoke should be used. Forget focus, uh, hiddens, and all that kind of stuff with a smoke bomb. Defensively is the way to go, because it's all about survival. So I get the Lady Maverick, see her walking basically straight for me. Good opportunity to just, you know, get a normal kill on her, because uh, she ended up charging me a little bit, and I die right away to the Hessian. Uh, what are you going to do? Um, you know, I got vulched. It's just the way it is. So... Respawn, back in, 6 minutes, 3,500, slipped a little bit, still have a good chance to make stuff happen. I uh, get the Carpenter, and I know he's back in that corner that I killed him in last time. Possibly even in that blend group I killed him in last time. But another person got to him first, so gonna uh, just wait it out, listen for whispers, see if I've got a uh, Pursuer anywhere near. Grab the Sharpshooter again, alright, back into the middle courtyard, and there he is right there on top of the barrel. Kills my pursuer, which uh, makes life a bit easier on me. And he ends up walking, you know, around the corner. He picks me out, figures that he can get a good corner stun on me. But I, you know, I helped invent the corner stun back in ACB. So I know what he's doing. Uh, get a good contested kill on him. Probably could have used my smoke offensively there and wouldn't have felt like too much of a douchebag. But it's just not my style. Smoke's for defense, not offense. Plus, it gives me an opportunity to use my smoke here. Get a stun on this guy because drop stuns aren't in the game anymore. My target comes right for me, but so does my other pursuer. 
I die before I can do anything. This guy gets a nice little savior bonus, of course. And when I respawn in, you'll see I get... Not the independent. That flashed for a second. Um, I get stiffed for a second here. And then I get the sharpshooter again. So, four minutes. Uh, four and a half minutes left. I grab a lore here. Going to grab a stun on the independent. So she gave me a lore. 4,300 points. Another opportunity for a knife stun on the robber. Grab the knife stun real quick. Real good uh, Real good exchange there. Um, about 500 points behind where I need to be for a 10k. And you'll see over the next couple minutes I just kind of uh, don't score very well. Um, two pursuers on me. No defensive abilities. Uh, Hessian rounds the corner. Looks like he's probably my pursuer. Obviously, you know, big red arrow on top of the uh, gallows area. Another pursuer. Figure I can get a good ambush kill right here. Get a nice ambush poison. Um, Night Stalker is chasing me. Uh, not too much I'm going to be able to do about this. Um, but he actually doesn't even end up getting the kill. The Hessian gets the kill. So uh, I just had too many pursuers. Not enough place to run. No defensive abilities. And should have just died sooner, honestly. I should have just taken the death and respawned. But didn't think that quickly on my feet that particular time. So... You do what you can. Uh, spawn back in. Have the sharpshooter once again. And this guy's actually pretty good. I give a lot of credit to the sharpshooter. He's prestige too. He plays really well. This is a tough game for him, but I end up losing to him like the next game we play. Uh, Robber runs in, knifes me. I get a smoke off of him. Or I smoke, end up being able to get a stun off of him, which is pretty good. Um, it's a little douchey. Not too many people like that move, but uh, you know, I'd rather be alive than dead, so it works out for me. Carpenter splits. Um, I start a chase with him, uh, which ends up biting me in the ass. I say to myself, all right, screw it. I'm just going to go run and chase this guy and nab him real quick. But I hear whispers, see my pursuer figure, all right, I'll get a knife stun. Screwed. I lose my target on him, which means I no longer have an X button to get the stun on her. That's the only thing that I do not like about the merged kill stun button is when I lose my target because of uh, a bum chase like that, which don't happen often. I don't trigger chases very often, but it does ruin my chance of getting stuns. So that sucked a little bit, but uh, but I do my best to recover it. Now, I haven't scored in like a minute, minute and a half or so. I'm at six grand with two and a half to go, and basically 10 grand is like out of the question. It's just really not going to happen. Get the sharpshooter again. He's got a, another target or another pursuer on him besides me. So, just trying to hunt him down, get to him before the other guy does. And I don't make it. So, nab a ground finish on him, 59.50. Again, really haven't scored in like two minutes. I don't count ground finishes. Here's a good chance to get myself a, uh, a knife stun, maybe a brutal escape. Huh? Ah, brutal? Brutal? Yeah, there's the brutal. And uh, Night Stalker takes just long enough for me to get my smoke back on cooldown. Get a stun on him. And here I am at 6,600 points with a minute 45 left to go. Um, again, 10 is like out of the question. I'm just scrambling for whatever I can get. Should probably be able to get 8, but we'll see what we can do. Figure I can get a hidden silent on this carpenter, but he ends up dying to the Hessian. Yay! Get another ground finish. What are you going to do? 6,650. Minute and a half left. See the independent walk into the hall. Figure I have a good chance at a stun here. Maybe she'll you know, kill the other, uh, silent shadow, but doesn't go for it. Saw the sharpshooter there, figured he was my pursuer, um, because he was acting all creepy, and I actually high-five him here. Yep, my pursuer, but doesn't see me, you know, he's running from a chase. So, here's an opportunity now, uh, to get a stun and a brutal on this Lady Maverick. 69.50 with a minute left to go. I just wanted to say that real quick. 69.50 with a minute left to go. Alright. Let's see how the next minute transpires. Get a quick stun, followed by a kill, and a chain. Um, I got my extreme variety right there on the savior. Get a drop stun on this guy, even though drop stuns really aren't in the game anymore, so I call that a derp on his part. See the Lady Maverick, she throws out a decoy. I'm not falling for it. Grab a quick kill on her, grab the streak. Um, see the Hessian, make a, make a jump for it, and uh, he gives me a lore, even though I was about as obvious as you can possibly be. So I get a quick stun on him, I'm up to 94.50. Uh, get the Carpenter, who just killed that Hessian. Grab him real quick. Had to start a chase again, because he was booking it out of there. 9,600 with 10 seconds left to go. My Pursuer just died there. No Pursuers. 
No targets either, looking for anything to score points. See a pursuer rounding the corner, throw the smoke, get the stun. Should be an escape too. Brutal? Brutal? Where's the brutal? Where's the brutal? 9,900 points. What the hell, Ubisoft? What the hell? That should have been a 10k. What the hell? Fix your shit! No, no, joking aside though, I'm glad that brutals at least are in AC3 now in some capacity for wanted. It's better than not being there at all. Uh, 9,900 could have been, you know, that, that 10k, but what are you going to do? Uh, 11 kills, 14 stuns. That's how you do it. Tempo based wanted, baby. Stuns, kills, interactions with other players. It's just the way you got to do it. The more you interact with other people, the more points you're going to score. I'm Urinate. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Random Acts of Murder.